The crocodiles we're going to be moving today are some hatchlings. They've been in a controlled environment building for a few months. And after the weather is let up, we're going to be moving them outside today. Packing them in boxes, getting a good count because we need to count crocodiles regularly to see how they're growing, what they're doing. So we're going to be counting the crocodiles into the boxes here. We're going to count them into the pond on the other side. But let's get on with the work that's at hand and we'll go, and go in and go and move them. Let's go. Check at that. Ah! That was getting your hand a little bit too close. Ouch, you little bugger. There are two crocodiles that are the same age. They were all born between January and February uh, this year. Look at the difference in the size. Now, this is why later on we start grading them. We'll keep the bigger ones in one pond, the smaller ones in another pond. One by the tail like this, then you can swing around and get you. So far, so good. Put your hand in the way, and you've got a bite. The hatchlings have been in pretty sterile conditions. We're now putting them in an open pond and people are walking through this area, we don't know what bacteria or bugs are that they might pick up. So everybody needs to dip their shoes in here before they go into this enclosure. Can I go on the bottom of the pot? Yeah. If we've only got about 40 or 50 really small ones, we've had a pretty good hatch. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, smile fourteen, a hey, nice big smile for babies. There you go, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And the last three, twenty. Hey, it's good working with crocodiles. These are the same hatchlings. This could be from a younger mom. This could be from an older mom. So we, we often have to put all the crocs together because we don't have enough space to move all the little crocodiles into separate pens um, straight after they hatched. We only start doing the grading a few months later. So this is the time now they can come outside for a couple of weeks, settle down outside, and then we can grade them and move these smaller ones out and give them a better chance to grow. But this is perfect size for most gray herons or prey. They might think twice about taking that guy. So you can see in the wild only one and a half, two percent survive. We've had to put a net over the top of this enclosure because of um, birds of prey. Um, your fish eagles, your yellow-billed kites, and then you've got your herons that will come and take these little baby crocodiles. Okay, let's count up. How many you got there, Daniel? Have you counted? Uh, total comes down to 1657. 1657? One, six, one, six, that must be the best season we've had in three years. It is the best one in three years. Fantastic. Sure. Hey, that makes my day even more perfect. You can see the mucus there. 